right guys, today I got the uh, Webtex uh, British Army Basha. Now Basha is basically a tarpaulin used by the uh, mil uh, military forces around the world to make like pup tents or lean-tos or whatnot. This one weighs about 1.4 ounces and it's a double polyurethane coated uh, tarp. But I'll go ahead and set it up and then uh, I'll talk about the features after I get it set up. All right, guys, this is the Basha all set up as a, a pup tent or right, a frame style shelter. Basically for this, you're gonna need 550 cord and uh, you can carry commercial stakes. These are uh, MSR, I think hedgehogs are called. Uh, <coughs> they're lightweight is why I carry them and pack it all with the Basha. If uh, you don't wanna carry stakes, you can make some uh, with your knife in the field. Uh, but basically these uh, exterior ridge line loops here there's five of them up top so you'll just string across between two uh, trees or limbs or whatnot to set it up and uh, <coughs> on the hammock on the exterior of the hammock you'll see there's 12 loops as well as nine brass grommets so it gives you a lot of versatility in setting things up lean twos or whatever you want to use them for. It also has, you'll see these snaps here, they're along the whole entire uh, shelter. And what that is, is that is to be used with another uh, basha and create a larger uh, shelter, or it can be used to make a three-sided shelter with a floor. And uh, like I said, it's double urethane poly, uh, polyurethane coated. It retails for about 95 US dollars. It's about eight foot by uh, five foot, give or take a few inches. But uh, it's a pretty good versatile shelter to have, you know, better than a, a poncho. It can also be used with a hammock as a uh, tarp for your hammock. And that's probably what I'll use mine for. But uh, check out Webtex. Like I said, it is kind of expensive, but it seems to me from the times I've used it, it's, it's gonna last a long time. So it should be worth the money. But uh, if you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.